Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Bob Thibodeau here. Welcome to the Faith-Based Business Podcast for today. We're so blessed you're joining us. We're continuing our study and how to choose a niche. I mean, we're launching now into the second week, and we got some great information for you today. Amen. Let me go ahead and, and get this here started off and make sure that all this is set up correctly. And I believe that's it right there. Praise the Lord. And you should be seeing me now. Praise God. Now, we need to find areas of interest online. The last time when we left off last week was what are some ways to determine what areas online people are interested in? And of course, you know, we're still talking about how to choose a niche for your podcast, your online marketing platform, your sales platform, your ministry, whatever the case may be. Amen. So, we covered last week how important it is to first select a niche that you are interested in and that you have products and services that will help support that niche and, and that the people of that niche, they have a problem that they're wanting to get solved. Okay. Uh, so what are some ways to determine what areas online people are interested in? Well, one way, again, we simply go online, go somewhere where there's a lot of advertising dollars being spent. And maybe, you know, any of the news websites, you know, a lot of the news websites have what's called classified ads on them. Okay. Just take a look at those classified ads and you can look at the topics of those classified ads and see if there's something in there that, that is in your niche. You can even take a screenshot of the classified ads today and then do it a week from now and a month from now, take another screenshot, see if the same people are advertising the same products. Because that's going to tell you a lot. In fact, in the advertising world, you know, many people just advertise one time. If it fails, they don't advertise again. The only way to know if advertising works is to buy the advertising. You know, we talked about opening a restaurant. The only way you're really going to know if that restaurant's going to be profitable is if you go through all the expense, headaches, and heartaches and time of opening it. I mean, you can do all the research you want, but you'll never really know until you actually do it. And it's the same way with running ads. Okay. Before, you know, I, I've done that before. I bought ads that didn't work. I only bought it one at a time, but if I buy it again and again and again and again, you can assume that I'm doing one of two things. I'm either trying to throw the competition off. Amen. Or just trying to get them all to buy the same advertising so they'll waste their money. Or I'm actually making money with this ad. Okay. The truth of the matter is 99% of the time, when you see advertisers advertising month after month after month after month, they're doing it not because they want to trick their competitors, but because they're actually making money. Amen. Look at the ads on the big websites, you know, like the big news sites and all that. If you take a screenshot today and take a screenshot a month from now and they're running, they're the same advertisers running on the same ad, you can probably guess those people are making some money. Does that tell you there's a big demand? No. It doesn't tell us anything about demand. What it does tell us, though, is there are some people in that niche making some money. And really, if you get down to the bottom line, that's all it tells us, isn't it? Next time, I'm going to share some information on is there room, though, for more competition in our niche? And that's what we're going to talk about next. Amen. Praise the Lord. So till next time, this Pastor Bob reminding you to be blessed in all that you do. And go down, click the links, hit the subscribe button there so you know when our next episode comes out. And go visit faithcasteracademy.com. We put all this training together for you. And members on the Faithcaster Academy... They get all the training as part of their membership. Even the new products being added, even the live webinars I do, they're all included in your membership. Just check it out, faithcasteracademy.com. Till next time, it's Pastor Byron Be blessed in all that you do.